Where did you get this? Today. You're not going to show Webb, are you? Of course not. Don't intend to. Smart. Hey, what is it? Ultrasound image of a fetus. Oh, Paul's baby. His wife's baby, the one that's inside her. I thought it was a case file, you know, some gruesome serial crime. But this is better. Uh, do you know what kind it is? Boy, girl. He's adorable. You're making a real life for yourself, Paul. We'd all be a lot saner if we had things like that to go home to. Mm. There's a call him Roger. Rod for short. It's cute as hell. How can you eat that? It's like eating cake for breakfast. What's wrong with cake for breakfast? What do you think of this stuff, hubby? Bunch of kids? Can't smoke if you're pregnant. I've got my priorities. Pancakes are cake. Pancakes are for breakfast. I gotta tell you, we were in there today, and they showed us a baby. I mean, you could see him move. And I had this amazing feeling of protectiveness come over me, and it was, it was, it was terrifying. Hey, you know, you might actually be a good father. You want to protect him, bring him here. Show him what you do. Let them see the world for what it is. Yeah, show them the morgue. They got little gloves down there, I think. I'm serious. Kids are a lot stronger than people think. They should know what's out there. Yeah, I think I'll just let them stay a kid a while. Protect them by protecting them, building better walls. No such thing. Morning, Kate. Hi, Kate Todd. Henry? Breakfast! Let's hustle, kiddo! Mrs. St. Clair's driving the carpool today. And she's always early. Come on. Henry? You better not be in the pool. You know your daddy and I have to be there to watch you. Henry! Harbor, far from the city sprawl, serenity, tranquility, security, so says the brochure. At 7.30 this morning, policemen were called to a residence there. Body was found floating face down in the family pool. We've been asked to investigate. A residential drowning? This wasn't a drowning. This body was dead before it hit the water, cut open. An eight-year-old boy. Eight. It's tragic, obviously. But why does it warrant federal attention? Because the developer of Hidden Harbor plays poker with the mayor, who asked us as a favor to investigate, and I agreed. Since when do you do favors? Perhaps I was moved by the death of a small child. Maybe you should play poker with the mayor. I want this. Good. You got it. You and Locke. Head out now. We'll make material available as it comes in. We should start with the parents. Statistically, when a child is murdered, the parents are always the prime. Come on. Henry Olson, three feet, 11 inches tall, 68 pounds. The only child of Kevin and Ellen Olson. Think they beefed up security because of the death? No, no, it's standard procedure. They think they can keep the bad guys out. I guess it didn't work. You know, people want to feel safe. It's, it's not such a terrible thing. It is when it's a lie. Medical examiner's prelim. He wasn't just slashed, he was gutted. Upward motion, genitals to the breastbone, and the incision was opened up, too. Yeah. Why just murder an innocent child when you can desecrate the body? I know why Webb took this case. Because it's interesting. You the feds? Special Agent Paul Ryan. This is Special Agent Rebecca Locke. Detective Price, LAPD. This one. Detective, we just want you to know that our involvement here Relax, might be. Relax, no one's gonna get territorial. We all just want this guy got. I got kids, boy and a girl. Either of you? 
No. Mrs. Olson, was it unusual for Henry to be up before you? No, he, uh, he'd be so mad if he knew I said this. <laughs> he wets the bed. He, he, he doesn't mean to. He's a deep sleeper. But if an accident wakes him up, he strips the soiled linen and throws him in the washer. And then sometimes he watches cartoons. It doesn't bother us. Did either of you uh, recall seeing any strangers in the neighborhood? The delivery service, any? No. No. Rebecca, I just uh, finished speaking with the parents. They're innocent. So now they're not suspects. We can only assume they love their son. But we can be sure they love their backyard. If either of them were guilty, we wouldn't have found the body back there. Spoil the picture. They didn't kill him. No, someone did. The killer was still on the property when she found the body. Part of the thrill of committing the act here would have been witnessing the discovery. This pervert killed Henry Olsen! Who him out of his bedroom last night? What the hell is going on? You were seen! You really think you can mess with kids in this neighborhood and not get caught? There was a witness? You're damn right there is. Honey butcher, son of a bitch! What'd you do with my little boy? What'd you do with him? Gotta get him out of here. You bastard! Help me! Downtown, find a witness. Theodore Howard Bunch, single groundskeeper employed by the Hidden Harbor Homeowners Association. Been with him for eight years. Lives in some kind of quarters they've got for him there. No record. He's clean. Yeah, clean. You didn't spend an hour in the car with him. Is it okay to hose him down before we go in? You're not going in. Well, we let him too much longer. He's going to sober up and he's going to lawyer up. That's likely, but I don't want you in there bleeding on him. I think a little blood is going to bother this guy. We're assuming he's guilty, Paul. I'm not even convinced he's a suspect. Rebecca, do you have an opinion? We don't know enough. There's supposed to be a witness that can link him to the victim, but we shouldn't wait too long for that. You're right. If we do that, it'll give him time to get his bearings. All right, we'll talk to him. Not you, Paul. Danny. Really? What, you're kidding? Because I do that? Who'd have thought I'd get to be good cop? Our witness is here. Oh, great. Death wish vigilante guy. No, not him. Her. Is that his wife? Yes, but not her. Her. Mr. and Mrs. St. Clair, these are the FBI agents I was telling you about. Hi. Hi. Look, we've already told Detective Price everything our daughter knows. Do we really need to go through it all again? We need to hear it from her, ma'am. Yeah, um, and it would be best if we could speak to her in private. No, it's not. If we don't get a statement from Madison, we won't have grounds to hold Bunch, and he could be back in your neighborhood tonight. 